Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install multiple data packs in Minecraft 1.13.2. Data packs are basically become the new mods of 1.13, so really and truly this shows you how to install multiple mods in Minecraft 1.13. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump on into it, but first we have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft. So you can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, get an awesome 24-hour DDoS tracking Minecraft server for just a few bucks a month. We love Apex so much we host our own Minecraft server on them, played breakdowncraft.com so if you want to try before you buy come play with us at play.breakdowncraft.com while trying out the awesome servers at apex minecraft hosting you can check out apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex but nevertheless let's go ahead and install some data packs now first and foremost we need to download some data packs we're going to be downloading like four or five here at least first and foremost we're going to use the mob health bar all of these data packs are linked in the description down below by the way so first and foremost let's click on download latest here that'll download in the bottom left then we're going to use exuma's void data packs. These are all the Hermitcraft data packs and there's many to choose from. I do have some favorites in here though. So specifically I like the Gravestone mod if I can find it. There it is right here. Player Graves and then there's some other stuff that could be kind of cool to add in here. For example the 8 Stairs mod right up here. So we've got 8 Stairs and then let's see is there anything else we could grab? I think this might be it to be honest. All we want to grab here from Exuma's Void. We can also do 12 trapdoors, which is just a bit insane, but we'll grab that one as well. Then we can also go over here and get Lucky Blocks. Lucky Blocks is an awesome data pack. It used to be a mod. That mod creator is still creating that mod, but Lucky Blocks is a data pack. is made by a new creator and has more than 150 events. Tons of awesome stuff, including regular updates. Let's go ahead and click on the download from Mirror here. If we go ahead and do that, it will just go ahead, take us off to Media Fire, where you can then click on the green download button and it will download in the bottom left. Now, if we minimize our browser here, we have all these in our desktop, mob health, player graves, more stairs, and 12 trap doors, in addition to lucky blocks. Now, if you see, I already have Minecraft 1.13.2 open. If you don't have Minecraft 1.13.2 open, go open it. This will only work in 1.13.2. It will actually work in 1.13 plus, but really and truly, just do it in 1.13.2. Once you're here, you want to click on single player. And now I'm going to go ahead and create a new world real quick. You don't have to do this, but I am going to do this. If uh, you don't want to create a new world, no worries. Just go ahead and wait a second because I'm going to do a jump cut to here where we're in game. Then I'm immediately going to leave the server, click back on single player, and boom, we're done. See, that easy. If you want to do this with an existing world, this is where you need to be on your single player menu. Where you want to go ahead and click on edit right here. And then you want to click on the open world folder. See that? Go ahead and click on open world folder. And then in here, you should have a data packs folder. If you don't, you're not playing on 1.13.2. Go play on 1.13.2 and this will work. See this data packs folder here though? Go ahead and double click on that. And then you just want to take all these data packs in their raw formats and drag them on over. No need to unzip them. No need to do anything. Drag and drop them over. Now once we're in game, we want to go ahead and click save here. Then we can open up the world that we just installed those data packs on. In my case, that's the data packs world for you. It's whatever world you did it on. Once you're in game here, here though, you want to do slash reload. Now, if you're like me and that command is unknown, what you need to do is go ahead and hit escape, click on open to land here. Then you want to allow cheats. See how allow cheats is off? Go ahead and turn that to on. Start the land world and now do slash reload. And there we go. It will reload. All of these are now installed. You see that? It's all loading up. That was crazy. So now if we find some mobs, I'm sure there'll be something around here. Boom. We can go ahead and see that that is in fact enabled and we can hit it and the sheep will die. Now we can also test the gravestone mod, but to do that real quick, I need to get something in my inventory. So let me get some seeds or I'll just get a block of grass, for example. There we go. And now I can go ahead and do game mode create it. Fly on up in the air and then we're going to turn game mode survival on just to show that this is working. For you to get a gravestone, you need to be able to, well, die. It's kind of morbid, but it's just the truth. So if we go ahead and do game mode survival, we'll fall to our deaths here. Boom. And we can go ahead and click on respawn, and we'll be able to see our gravestone here because, well, we, we died right at spawn here, at least near it, I think. There's a village over there. It's actually pretty cool. So let's see if we can find our gravestone. There it is. There is our gravestone. That can now be broken and get our items back. However, that's not the only mod we installed. We also installed the multiple stairs mod and the 12 trapdoors mod. Let's go ahead and test that by grabbing ourselves some wood in creative. Give me one quick jump cut. Here we go. Back in survival, we can throw that down. We can make some stairs and we will see that it'll give us eight stairs. That is correct. Trapdoors, I believe, are made like that. That is 12 trapdoors if you ask me. 
Again, just to prove that those are working there. There we go. We can grab that. Now, last but not least, we do need some lucky blocks. However, lucky blocks are a bit different to craft. So let's go ahead and go back over here where we can, in fact, get the lucky blocks crafting recipe. So for that, we need four gold blocks, four glass blocks, and a bottle of enchanting. Let me go ahead and grab that and create it really quickly. There we go. Now to do this is pretty easy. We just need to take and put our gold right like so, our glass right like so, and then a bottle of enchanting in the center. Boom, and there we go. We are now given a cod spawn egg. It's not actually a cod spawn egg, though. It is actually a lucky block. Do you see that? Let's go ahead and craft a few more here just to, uh, just to see what we can get. Why not? And there we go. We now have four lucky blocks here. We also... That cod spawn egg it did disappear. When you get in your inventory, they disappear. So let's go ahead and place these down. See what we get. We get one lucky block. We get two. We get three. And we get four. Nope, they won't let me place it down on grass there. My bad. There we go. Let's go ahead and break these. First and foremost, we get... That's actually really cool. Then we can break this one. Okay, that is a lot of mobs. That is rip, rip. I'm in creative now. Wow, that's a lot of mobs. Holy crap. Okay, not all of these are positive, by the way. Well, this is a cool statue. Not all of these are positive. I don't know how I'm gonna. I don't know how I'm gonna take care of this, to be honest. See if we can break and create it. We got a mob spawner there, and then on that one we got oh cool a uh, Ender Dragon beacon thing. I don't know what that's called. Oh, I blew it up and it blew everything up. Don't click on that. That is that is bad. As soon as you click on it, it'll blow everything up around you, as you just saw. It's fugazi. Makes you think you're getting one thing, you're getting something else. Nevertheless, guys, that is how you can install multiple data packs. It really is that easy. We just had some fun here at the end with the Lucky Blocks and showing off that all these did, in fact, work. See, these are even working on all of these mobs from the Lucky Blocks setup. So there you guys have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. I'm more than happy to help you out. Enjoy your data packs. Enjoy your 1.13.2 mods. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, actually running 1.13.2 survival. If you're looking for an awesome 1.13.2 grief protected survival server, play.breakdowncraft.com is the uh, the one for you. Just type in play.breakdowncraft.com as your Minecraft server IP. Click join server and bada bing bada boom, you'll be in. But nevertheless, guys, I will see you in the next video. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown again, and I'm out. Peace.